Gemini, how are you? Happy full moon in Taurus. It's interesting, the phrase that came through for the title of your video is like, it's never been done before. So although even as metaphysicians, like no one's reinventing the wheel as far as anything on this planet, everything has been done before. But for, I don't know why this is coming through, but like whatever you're creating or birthing or doing, it's okay to be really precious with it because you are creating something that maybe has never been done before in your family line. Maybe you're the first to be this way. Uh, you know, maybe you're in school and you're recognizing that, you know, the teachers around you that you would originally idealize really aren't the ones that can get you to where you want to be. And some of you are really like, consciously creating a success for yourselves that is generational, something that you're doing has never been done before. So I'm very, very excited for you, Gemini. And the grid behind me is for Gemini rising, but the vibration of these readings can always be enjoyed by a Gemini sun as well as a Gemini moon. Um, there's definitely a few Gemini suns that I know out there that I would really think that this reading could be, be something special about. Because right now we're in Scorpio season. So for you, the sixth house is run by Scorpio. This is everyday life and practical service. So we're looking at our everyday activities. This is also the health access. So if you're cognizant of maybe a habit or um, a like an addiction that you really need to be letting go of right now because it doesn't serve your highest and greatest, or maybe you need to pull back from certain activities and recognize that like everything on this planet is equal parts poison and ambrosia. So really like an, an abundance of food is wonderful but an abundance of like fake sugar is not an abundance of like water is wonderful but literally chugging gallons and gallons and gallons of water you'll probably vomit so it's just everything can be poison ambrosia everything can be medicine everything can be healing everything is everything is everything everything is energy so just choose your own adventure on that you and aries um, but I would say, like, because we have, and go, please go back if you have not already watched the introductory video for this, because, like, everything is energy. And the title of that video was Money Isn't Real. But I want you to recognize that, like, whatever it is that... It's as if you're not giving up, but there's there's a certain, like... You're, you're mutable air energy. So there's a certain solidity. It's just like, I see you like grasping for something and it just feels like I'm grasping at air. That's okay. Utilize some version of like scripting, of, you know, dancing, of writing things down that solidify it. What is the thing that you want to be doing? And like, it doesn't fully make sense because as an awakened one, we're kind of like crafting, not new jobs, but you know, we need awakened beings in every profession to change every single profession. So we need awakened gas station attendants and awakened um, contractors, awakened waiters, awakened baristas, awakened everyone so that you're out and about in the world on the front lines so you can show your face to others and just be like, hey, yes, I'm awakened and I'm my vibration is creating something new. And a lot of different people, a lot of different light workers, and you know, like there are communities that are, you know, buying bunches of lands together and then creating their own little like micro world. Whatever it is that you do, incorporate your woo woo into that and start to, you know, charge more money for your practice, whatever it is that you're doing, because you have that shine that's being added to it. So, Although, no, it's like nothing is new and being a healer, being an awakened one is not something that's new. It's being bringing it mainstream that is. It's bringing it mainstream that is. And be open to very new friendships coming in, new communities. And, you know, yeah, be... Be aware of new communities coming in and really check your, um, I, I don't want to say addictions. There are old ways of play. Don't go back to him. I don't know who you are, but don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't do it. Don't answer that text. Don't do it. Don't do it. No judgment if you do, but don't, but don't. Um, there's 
the south node in your house of play, romance, childlike spirits, kiddos, joy. It's like releasing old ways of fun. Um, this is a longer transit. I just want to be cognizant of that because of the intensity of the squeeze and the fact that we're on the health axis here. Being around certain people, like I have friends that ingest alcohol. I have friends that eat sugar. I have friends that eat gluten and I don't have to not show up. I can just stay within my foundational things, but I can still dance, I can still have fun, I can still do that. So you don't have to become a, like a, a hermit all alone, Gem. I would never take your fun away from you. But all I'm saying is don't show up to things that you don't want to do the things that everybody's doing and you don't feel comfortable enough, strong enough to say no yet to them. If you don't feel like you can keep your vibe, don't go into that room. If you feel like you can keep your vibe and not give a flying F, as to who's gonna be like, oh, you're not gonna drink tonight? And be like, actually, I'm not. Actually, I'm not. Like, I don't do that anymore, but I'm here to have fun. And if you have a problem with me not doing this, that's a you problem, not a me problem. If you don't feel strong enough to do that, then don't, then don't show up. Then don't show up, that's okay. Um, and focus on the lifestyle, your everyday life that you want. I don't want it to be a job, I don't want it to be this, but I want to, what do you wanna do every single day? If time or money were no object, you would do this without even thinking of payment, without anything, you forget about time, forget about space, what is that that you would do every single day? And then decide how much money you need to survive, not survive, to thrive. It's like give a minimum, like a monthly minimum, like I want you to think of like, what would you do every single day if time or money were no object? What do you need to thrive? Like what's your like greatest budget? Like think of like Bob Proctor, um, what's the book that you were born rich? That's a free audiobook on his um, YouTube. So please, I would love for you to go listen to that because he has a whole chapter, I think it's chapter two or three about like deciding how much and like having a number and stuff like that. So I want you to decide what it is that you wanna do every single day or what you would do if time or money were no object, how much money you need to thrive and then literally like write it every day, script it every single day, decide every single day, I get to do this, I get to do this, I effortlessly pay for these things, I am able to do these things. What you speak are your spells. They don't call it spelling for no reason. So it's like, instead of ingesting spirits with friends that you used to ingest spirits with, what if we spent our time really manifesting and just daydreaming into the life that we do want? This is, yeah, a lot of you have ended a lot of karmic, like, contracts, I want to say. Like, a lot of contracts have really been ended. Like, a lot of you are doing some really deep work, Gem, and nobody sees this. And I'm sorry that there's no gold star for the work that you're doing. A lot of what we're doing is, like, humbly and without an I told you so dance. But the work that you're doing is helping to heal the planet. It's so much bigger than us. It's so much bigger than the I told you so dance. It's so much bigger than any of us could ever fathom. So I know that it's exhausting. I know that you're tired. You can do this and I'm really proud of you, but it's not easy. Keep it up. I love you, I'll see you in a few weeks.